Hey there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to animate the weightlifting character. So, this is the last part of the weightlifting project where we are going to animate the character. But till now, we have first of all illustrated it in flat style and then we have rigged the whole body of the character with the help of Twig Basil. So, if you haven't checked out the illustration and the rigging tutorial, to check out, you will get the link in the description or you can get the link from the i button on the top right corner as well. So let's proceed with this lesson. So first of all we are going to animate the whole body of the character and at this stage we are going to take care of the timing of the whole animation and not only that if we want to apply some anticipation and overshoot to the animation then we are going to apply it at this stage itself. After that we are going to animate the face of the character and here we are going to match the timing with the body of the character and finally we are going to apply follow through to the whole animation of the different parts of the body and then our final animation will be ready. Okay so let's jump on to After Effects. So right now we are inside of After Effects and we are in 24 frames a second for this particular animation. So these are the two controllers that we have created in the previous lesson. One is for the weight and this one is for the weight and this one is for the body. So first of all we are going to add animation to the whole body of the character. So let's put keyframes on the position property. Okay, I'm going to pull the sliders down. So this is the initial position of the animation and after that I'm going to jump on to next 10 frames and again pull the whole thing a bit down. Here is where the character is anticipating for lifting the weight. And after that it lifts the whole weight. So let's make something like uh, the weight is too heavy and it cannot lift up in the first attempt so first of all it just goes half away and then again goes down a bit and then with full force it just lifts the whole weight so let's do that so for that let's jump on to next 12 frames i'm going to just pull it above okay now after that it will go down a bit so let's jump on to next 12 frames again all right now it will just lift the whole weight with full force so let's jump on to next nine frames and this will be the extreme And at this particular point, we are going to add some overshoot to it. So let's jump on to around 4 frames and just I'm going to pull this back. Perfect. And after that, at the, after that at 10, next 10 frames, it will go down to its initial position. So let's make something like it just waits for a moment at this particular point. So I'm going to give it around uh, a rest of 10 frames. And after that, I will jump on to next 10 frames and just copy the initial key poses. So let's easy ease everything and just check the whole animation. I think we can fix the motion graph a bit at this particular points. So I'm going to change it to speed graphs and at this particular point when it's going down here we are going to ease it more and we are going to ease it less at this particular point. So at this particular point the weight is falling and so we are going to ease it less at this point as well.
Okay, now let's check the animation again. I think we can speed it up a bit so for that I'm going to jump on to next 8 frames and let's speed up the animation. So here is the first anticipation and after that I'm going to jump on to next 10 frames and just put the keyframes over here and I'm going to jump on to next 10 frames again or I think it will be alright so I'm going to jump on to 12 frames only so the difference was 12 frames pre so after that at this particular point it will this particular action will happen a bit faster so I'm going to jump on to 6 frames this is an overshoot so let's pull it back down a bit and it's wasting uh, around 10 frames let's just decrease it a bit let's give it around uh, 6 frames okay let's jump on to next 10 frames or rather 8 frames now let's check our animation yeah it's looking better it's looking far better so we are going to go with this one so it's pretty looking pretty nice though so after that we can even add the loop expression to it but before that I would like to add the animation to the face. So let's add the animation to the face and for that I am going to match the timing with the weight lifting this particular animation itself. So first of all let's add keyframe on the position property of these two sliders. One is for the mouth and one is for the whole face. And I'm going to just pull it down a bit and I'm going to keep the mouse at ma the shape of the mouth as it is. So at this particular point it will uh, I'm just pulling it down to its extreme and the character will close its mouth as well. At this particular point it will look upwards but not to the further extreme to somewhere in between and it will slightly open the mouth at this particular point it will again look down a bit and again close the mouth slightly at this particular point it will go to its extreme and at this particular point it will again slightly just look downwards same with the mouth because we are going to, we are adding an overshoot to this particular position so at this particular point it's resting and at this particular point i am going to copy the initial keyframes so i'm going to easy ease everything now let's check the animation so we haven't added follow through yet so the animation may look a bit mechanical but it's looking pretty nice though so after that i'm going to add the loop expression to all the three properties with keyframes after that i'm going to paste this loop expression to rest of the properties all right now it's time for offsetting the whole animation so let's start with offsetting two frames let's check our animation yeah it's looking pretty nice though so we are going to finalize with this animation i have added few more detailing to the animation such as for the shoes so for that i have just added few 
Yeah, I have just added pen tools and just converted it into bones and painted it with the structure layers and just slightly added some distortion to the foot. So like this you can animate the full body of a character using Dwig Bezier. So try it on your own and definitely just uh, create your own character, rig the whole body and then animate it just using the same technique I have shown you. So if you uh, just uh, have any doubt regarding the lesson or anything regarding the After Effects uh, or any or whole motion graphics itself, do comment down below. I will be happy to help you out. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down below. I will be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.